In Indiana, we pride ourselves, our economy, on making things, growing things, and moving things. The problem is, is that those three industries are being renovated right now at lightning speed. And if we don't act on this internet uh, connectedness, uh, this technology, this innovation, there's a chance that those industries could be gutted within our state and major uh, sources of employment and wealth creation could just be gone because we didn't innovate uh, faster than our competitors across the nation or around the world. So as we look ahead to what it is that we need to be able to make that work, one of the things that's really key is a place that we can do that work in. So the facility is 24,000 square feet. Uh, it's a mixture of lab space, maker type space, uh, but also spaces for meetings and ideation. Um, it's our vision that you'll be able to do everything from uh, explore self-driving vehicles all the way to internet connected crock pots. Just about anything that you can dream up that could be internet connected, we want to be able to accommodate that. And I think it allows us to really combine strengths uh, as far as those individuals that are, are really working on the technologies now in an applied sense, as well as those back at the university who are, are working kind of in the lab. I mean, it's all in the Nickel Plate District, right in our downtown, where we have a wonderful collection of entrepreneurial companies that have chosen downtown Fishers as their ultimate home. So we're building this on a foundation of four key pillars. We're bringing all of those disciplines together in one facility so that even companies that don't have those disciplines inside of them, they can come and take advantage of this collection of, of great resources at the uh, IoT Lab. I think it creates a unique opportunity for us to be at the forefront of this new burgeoning economy. And I think we have a great opportunity uh, to establish a leadership position today that will last for generations to come.